Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Orion Trail. My name is Weasel, and we're going to check out this game which combines fast and light with humorous writing, and it is a homage to Star Trek, and I personally really enjoyed playing this so far. And I wanted to share it with you. Uh, a friend sent me that key, and we're just going to jump right into the game, and I will explain it as best as possible. Uh, maybe some of you have already seen in the background there are space weasels in this game. Um, that is how I got pretty much attracted to the game uh, a while back when it was in alpha or in a demo. And ever since then, uh, I kind of forgot about it until I got, you know, someone sent me that key. So um, I jumped into it and I really enjoy it. The writing is really funny. So let's go ahead and select the mission. We're going to start with the Wilkie May. A sister galaxy to your, our own, the Wilkie May's only slightly different efforts to explore the sector have been put off because it's really annoying to refer to it by its name. Yes, I can see that, the Wilkie May. Um, the game is like faster than light and it takes, you know, a stab at Star Trek and there's ground missions. It, it is not... There's no direct fight involved into this game. It is more of a choose-your-own-adventure style game, uh, which I really enjoy, and I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can as we go along. And yeah, let me go and explain it. Uh, as you can see up here, we have a crew meter, food, fuel, and hull. These are the resources that we're going to use up just like in games like Faster Than Light um, as we progress through the map. And right now, we're going to choose our captain, which has one of five stats or several stats. And with the officers together, they will create a well stat bar with all kinds of different stats on it um, which will determine our well roles you will see what I mean um, but yeah each character stat will increase your odds of success with different actions yes yeah, stats bar explanation tooltip thingy that is actually really helpful all right we can choose from one of these captains um, they're randomized um, so you never know which one of these three you can get and you can pick one of them I think I'm gonna go with Cory Krebs, a peerless diplomat, Captain Krebs, Krebs, famously ended the hostilities before the frog between the frogfold of Krokhan 6 and the nearby Gnatling Hive world. I love the writing, it's glorious. And we're gonna give him a new name, Weasel McWeaselson. That totally looks like me. Totally. Except. And uh, yeah, now we get to choose our officer, and I don't think this is even, even, even a choice. I see Colonel Bananas. Colonel Bananas, I, oh man, he has three uh, tactics. You get like three points. Um, I would probably prefer someone with more balanced stats, but you know what, I'm gonna go with Colonel Bananas, just because he looks like a monkey and has an awesome name. The ridiculous result of a brain-enhancing test serum, uh, Lieutenant Bananas has since enlisted in the Galaxy Force to put his intellect to good use. His plans are unconventional, but nearly always succeeded. All right, I'm going to accept that. And now the next one, hmm. The Fixer, he has free science, I like that. Re really strong science. Too bravado, these guys. Percival Squiddlevoss. I'm very sorry, but I have to choose him just for the name. That is a glorious, glorious name. Lieutenant Squiddlevoss joined Galaxy Force for the thrill of it. Except, I don't need to know more. All right, uh, and last but not least, we get to choose one more. Uh, what I'm gonna go for, I have basically no attack and no science. That's no good. What about Wolfgang Wesker? Wolfgang. Wolf-like features are actually the result of a failed experiment. Oh, another one. Fantastic. Though he's often mistaken for an Urzan. His reckless ingenuity is the stuff Galaxy Force officers are made of. Fantastic. I'm going to accept him. And as you can see down here, uh, you got a slight representation of the people you have. Actually, just you saw the goal. And this is the start. And we try to, well, we'll try our best to make our way through here without using up all of our resources. Pretty much that's the idea. And I love the music in the background. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is a slight representation, which I love. If you pick, like, a weird bear captain, you're gonna have a weird bear captain sit there. And with awesome animation. Sorry, I had to close that window there. All right, so let's go ahead and actually, yeah, let's, let's get cracking. Cracking. Let's get cracking. Uh, we can now choose where we want to go. We can head to the Orange Nebula. Shifting bronze and orange make up this murky cloud formation. Or to Pink Nebula. And as you can see, uh, the events that we will get there can lead to more hull strength or... Uh, a random value, so I'm gonna get with that because we pretty much have a completely repaired hull. So let's set a course and... Oh, already a f event. That was fast. Sensors indicate that there is a sort of floating memorial nearby. Your navigator asks if you want to make a short detour to check it out. Take a shuttle and pay our respects. Yeah, sure. Why? Let's... Mm, yeah, let's do that. Planet Nate. Welcome to Lamollet. I have absolutely no idea what that means. Absolutely no idea. But... Um, that, that's nice. That's nice. I assume that has something to do with backers. <laughs> Reflecting on your own mortality makes you realize how little time there's left. You decide to be more bold in your decision-making from now on. Plus one bravado. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, my captain got one bravado. That's actually really nice. And as you can see, each field we go, it costs us 10 fuel, 5 food. So we might want to make sure we don't lose that. Otherwise, we're going to lose crew if we don't have enough food. Or are, are very slow when we don't have fuel left. Um, or stop. All right. You will be downgraded. A cube life ship approaching is unmistakable. It's the dreaded Analog Collective. They demand you assimilate into their ancient mainframe, replacing any advanced technology with their superior outdated appliances. Mainly toasters. Dib okay. I love the reference. I love the reference. If you're not getting the reference, you're probably not very old or have never delved deeper into screensavers. Because that is from a screensaver. You should look it up. Flying toaster screensaver. You'll learn something. It's awesome. Everyone used to have that on their screen. It was ridiculous. Um, all right. Your orders. Deceive their primitive sensors. We would have to use tactics here in this case. That would be what we have the best chance to do. Fight back. Not as good. Or send a delegation with diplomacy. I think we're going to deceive their primitive sensors. We're going to try that. And if it goes wrong, we're going to lose a random value. If we lose this one, we're going to fight back. And it's going to cost us hull. And here it's going to cost us crew if we lose. All right. Let's deceive their primitive sensors. And let's see if we have luck. The crew searches the ship for outdated equipment to take the place of the officers at a ship bridge, hoping that once visual comms are open, it will be enough to fool the collective into believing you are fellow fans of primitive tech. All right, let's engage the probability drive. Love it. Um, as you can see, these are fields. The orange one, pretty much if, if the random roll hits one of these, we will lose. If we hit one of these, it's going to be disastrous. We're going to even lose more than before. The star will even grant us a bonus, and the uh, green ones will just pretty much like, yep, you made it. Um, if I engage now, we will fill up the fill fields, as you can see, with the five bonus we had. So, actually, yes, we made it. We deceived them. A member of the Analog Collective peers through the view screen, looking around at the hodgepodge of objects you've collected. You, this ship is junk, she says, even by our standards. In fact, the Collective decides to give you some fuel out of pity. <laughs> Thank you. That's not insulting at all, but I'll take it. So we got lucky there, and now we get to choose between the Astrobot here, a collection of space rocks and debris, or Class Zero stars are young and hot, like temperature hot, not attractive. Aww. All right, let's get some food. I'd, I'd like that. Ooh, sensors indicate that there's some sort of floating memorial nearby. Your navigator asks if you want to make a short detour to check it out. Um, yeah, sure, let's pay our respects. Vanessa Williams leaves behind four cats, a red paw collection, and a well-used pizza costume. Charles Husky. That's nice. And I actually... ah, the gravestone drives one of your officers insane. They become obsessed with the gravestone and their work suffers for it. We lost a science. Ah, well, can't always be successful. It is a very random-based game. Um... Or luck like, or roll, whatever you want to call it. Food replicator revolt. The AI controlling the ship's food replicator has decided it's graduated from common food and is only willing to produce tiny portions of space gourmet meals from now on. Only it's burgers night and the crew wants their burgers. Man, that's the worst. So we could sell the replicator. We could sell the crew on space gourmet or make the damn burgers ourselves. Um, we have four bravado. Tactics even better. You know what? I'm gonna go with bravado. I'm gonna make the burgers myself. You make a shipwide announcement. This crew will no longer be subject to the whims of a tyrannical chef AI. You have no formal training in cooking, and in effect, uh, and in fact, no one has manually cooked for centuries. But how hard could it be? Yeah, burgers. Am I right? How can you screw those up? Actually, very easily. All right, we got lucky. I did not expect that. I, but when I played it before, I only got the. Skulls, it was ridiculous. All right, perfect. After some failed experiments, you find you're able to grill meat using the heat from the ship's power core. The resulting burgers grow slightly, glow slightly, but you convince the crew that it's the result of love you poured into making them. I love the writing. Uh, 30 food, nice, but 50 fuel cost, which is fine because we still have plenty of that. And it's way better than losing some stats. All right, we're gonna keep going ahead. Asteroid belt. Space rocks in the pre, it's the only way I can go at this point. Not complaining. You've encountered a gravestone. And you made a grave mistake. All right, uh, your orders. Ugh, sort of floating memorial. You never get asked if you want to make the short detour. Um, you know what? Say the course. No need. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to ignore it. All right. The Doomsday... Ooh. The Doomsday ship, an ancient planet-eating Doomsday robot destroyer, has suddenly come to life nearby. According to legend, it is nigh unstoppable. <gasps> All right, ooh. Hey, let's try docking with it. Lovely. <laughs> Discretion is better part of valor. Uh, we could lose some hull if it goes wrong, so I'm gonna go with that. 
Um, I'm willing to take a hit here and there. Let's engage. You give the command to raise shields and set course for somewhere safe, maximum speed. Yeah, this does look scary. All right, we, we succeeded. Lovely. The robot destroyer sensors register your increased power output and gives chase. Firing shot after shot, it closes in relentlessly, but runs out of fuel at the last moment. Victory, you study your gigantic fuel cells and take a few notes. Ooh, plus 100 fuel, just one hull lost. Yeah, I would call that um, more or less a success. All right, we can choose now between an orange nebula and an asteroid belt. There's going to be a ground mission as far as, I'm con as, far as I remember. <clears throat> Looking forward to that. Uh, we're gonna go with the orange nebula. Will it give us a random value? I think, yeah, we did really well on this course. Like, super well. Also, it's one of the first you can do. Kidnapped, you awake with a start. You try to speak, but you've been gagged and tied to a chair. Mm. The room is dark and you struggle to see anything. Suddenly, several of your crew members burst into the door and their eyes look expectantly with yours. A lock expectantly with yours. Stay silent. Or... <clears throat> um... I'm gonna go with Grumpfberg or Bravado. Let's go with the tactics. We have the best chances for that. They cautiously approach you. A look of fear flashes over their eyes when they notice it's your science team. Okay. Wait, who who approaches me? The crew? Ah, I would have loved to get the extra bonus. Actually, that's still a super fantastic run. It was probably not a good idea to drink the expired fruit juice. The good news is your science team isolated a fascinating strain of bacteria that improved your senses. The bad news is it gave you a serious case of smash the walls. Oh, no. At least we got some science. Not that was the best value so far. Lost a little bit of fall, but that's okay. Next stop, Class M Planet. A planet is orbiting the star. It might be worth checking out. <clears throat> still a little bit sick here. Trying not to cough. <clears throat> Feast of strength. Feats of strength. Sorry, not feasts. You pick up a broadcast as you pass nearby Warrior World. All are invited to prove their worth in the fields of glory and win fabulous prizes. Food, fame, lifelong friendships, death. You stroke your chin and consider a proposition. Ah, this is a ground mission. Yes, assemble the away team. You can assemble an away team with, as you can see, uh, red shirts. And I assume that these are people that back the game or something. Uh, it's funny. Crutchford, Invincible, Burt, Laham, Lake, Cubulus... Ah, uh, Grundoon. Interesting names. I love it. Cornelius Weatherbottom. This is our away team, and we can choose an officer. And, mmm, 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 mmm. I think I'm gonna go with... Colonel Bananas. Alright, this is our away team now. I love that he actually looks like Colonel Bananas. And these guys look really weird. Quite interesting. Uh, anyway, outside the stadium, your away team arrives in front of the Coliseum. Banner is proudly displaying their home planet of Federation wave in the breeze. There's a buzz excitement in the air. Your team of champions awaits your orders. Ha, ah, your orders. Hmm. Begin the games. Sure, let's do that. The team proudly marches into the arena, ready to prove the awesomeness of Galaxy Force. Alright, the team enters a large open area. Arena. Some kind of large elephant centaur towers above them menacingly, wielding some kind of tree trunk in its trunk. Anyway, it's really big and kind of scary. Colonel Bananas asks you for what to do next. Hmm. The best way would be to lure it into a corner and immobilize it, because we have the biggest chances with tactics, but we, will, we would lose crew. I mean, we would lose crew anyway, so let's go ahead with that and try our best here with tactics. Let's engage. And as you can see, you get a, um, well, eight slots for each member. Oh, one slot for each member. That is the worst outcome possible. And of course, four for the tactics. That is actually really, really bad. I'm a little bit afraid to press continue. That went horribly wrong. Unbeknownst to you, or the rest of the team for that matter, there aren't any corners. In fact, the arena is surrounded by a large pit with spikes in it. Several of your team fall in unceremoniously. Luckily, the big guy follows suit. Damn it, we lost three team members. And they're gone. Your team returns to the front of the Coliseum and recuperates, readying themselves for the next challenge. All right, let's 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 do this. On to the next challenge. Curious to see what's next, your way team re-enters the arena. Sure. The test of intelligence. Your team enters a gigantic labyrinth filled with what you can safely assume are dastardly traps and monsters. With no clear path forward, Colonel Bananas requests some orders. Um, Yeah, let's navigate it legitimately because we have the best chance of tactics. Blasting fruit would be a bad idea. Oh, this is scary. Look at that. Ah. Okay, as you can see, this is not good. Oh, please don't give me... Okay, I think we lose one, but we make the mission. 
The team searches for the exit and Lake Cubulos discovers the tracks of some kind of wagon. They follow the tracks to a large door, which is clearly some kind of service exit. Lake Cubulos 2 vows to stay behind to argue the legitimacy of this maneuver. <sighs> Thank you, Lake Cubulos. The second. Your team returns to the front of the Colosseum, readying themselves for the third and final challenge. Yeah, let's do this. We can do this. The away team marches into the Colosseum one last time. What could the final challenge be? Mountains of what appear to be ice cream line in the arena. Weirder still, there doesn't seem to be an obvious opponent. The ends in the stands watch breathlessly. What are your orders? <sighs> okay. Um All of our stats suck here. I don't I can't use tactics anymore. Um study closely, melt it, or share it with everyone. How about we melt it? Let's, let's melt the ice. Set their phaser to party pooper. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm a party pooper, fine. As you can see, ah, oh, this is, chances are not good. Not not in our favor. I think we're gonna lose some, some people here. Let's see, it's growing. The high energy blast seemed to cause the malevolent confection to grow larger. Giant sprinkles rain down from the sky and one wax carnal bananas on the head. When they come to, the team is informed that they passed the test. Well, I lost one HP, you have three, so I think that's not too bad. Your team faced the challenges of the arena and prevailed. The master of the arena calls Colonel Bananas forward and demands to know what they seek as a reward. Lifelong friendship. Um, no. Glory. You know what? I want glory. Screw food. I have plenty of food here for the rest of the trip. The arena master claps his hands once, so be it. Our finest engineers will make you the envy of all gladiators to ever live. Plus two attack, 30 food, 300 fuel. That is awesome. That's awesome. Moving on. No, the best outcome possible here. And actually, this is where goal is. Yes, Galaxy 4 Starbase. This was a super smooth run, actually. The next... I mean, we lost a few people. The next outpost along the Orion Trail gets here at any cost. We'll do... The unnatural and disgusting effects of space dysentery ravage your crew. Ugh. Earth dysentery is like relaxing vacation compared to space dysentery. Ugh. Ugh. Let's... Ah, let's move on. That's, that's no good. Ah, well. We made it to the goal! Mission successful! Yes, even Wheatley's excited. Alright, congratulations! You have successfully traversed a Wilkie May in a most daring expedition. Galaxy Force honors you the title as Admirable, Admirable Tactician. Look at all these people that die from space dysentery. That is so sad. Alright, these space outcomes. Uh, two bad events. Four? That's actually really good. Really good. I love the orders issued. Uh, five space encounters. Anyway, this was the first mission, the Wilkie May. And there, as you can see, there is quite a few more. Um, some are coming soon, and there's two more missions. We have the Ursa Major, and we have the Space Montezuma's Revenge. And if you guys would love to see those, I wouldn't mind playing those with you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know uh, what you like about Orion Trail. Like, Orion Trail is dot 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 awesome because... I don't know, or lame. I don't know. I would really love to know what you guys think. I enjoy this game. It's a simple game. It's not the most complex game there is, but I like the writing, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.